Yeah, 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 you're fine. You're good. <laughs> yeah. My name is Ryan Sun and I'm a junior at Queen's County High School. I received the Seal Virus uh, Medal my sophomore year, last year taking up to Spanish 3. Um, to me, what it means to receive the uh, Seal Virus Medal, it means opening up more opportunities for one because you're able to understand and speak another language it really gives open up doors for you and it gives you more opportunities in life whether it's finding jobs or whatever career path you ventures for anyone out there who wants to take this advice you know, it's definitely achievable I mean, as long as you put in the effort in your class in your, in your classes whether it's whatever spanish or french whatever oral language you choose to study for me you know, when, when I look at what you've accomplished, for me, it, it's like, if I knew you, if you were one of my classmates, you, even, even if I'm a, I'm a freshman coming up and I see you and I know who you are and I know you've accomplished this, I might want to try it. About family, what does it mean to your family? Does your family understand what this means? Yes, in a, in a sense, because it definitely shows my abilities to able to learn another language and English. Is so, anyone in your family fluent in another language? Or um, the first? Yes, my parents, my mother was um, fluent Chinese. Okay. And then she learned English. So, so you're the second in your family? Yes. That's all right. Very cool. Who's up next? Who wants to go yeah. out with you? Okay. Hello, my name is Danny Brown. I'm a junior at Grace County High School and I took the City of My Literacy test and I went up to AP Spanish. Um, the City of My Literacy test makes me, it shows my um, progression in Spanish. I took uh, Spanish 1 at the middle school level and I doubled up in Spanish freshman year and then I skipped Spanish to learn until AP last year. So it just shows all my progress and all my hard work and eventually helped me in my career path. Since you've taken the AP test as well, how did the SEAL test compare to the AP test? Yeah, so what I found funny about the SEAL by Literacy test and the AP test is you both have, on both of them, you have to write an email. I mean, right naturally on the SEAL by Literacy test, I knew different phrases to use to like really help me stand out and everything. So if you really want to get the SEAL by Literacy test, I also really recommend taking the AP on um, Spanish level. Okay. What does it mean to your family? <laughs> My family is just kind of like blown away that I even decide to take AP Spanish or this. They're like, couldn't you stop that three? And I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> why do that? You know, like keep on going when I could, you know? All right, perfect. We have our French student, a French seal by ministry. My name is Anna Lackey. I'm a senior at Queen Anne's County High School, and I received the SEAL last semester in Honors French 4 with Miss Gilbert. For me, the SEAL opens up a lot of opportunities, especially with my career. Um, I hope to travel to Europe and to work in the theaters there, and learning French is going to help me communicate better with my team and the crew and be able to follow that path in life. What about for any uh, future French students out there? I definitely, I love learning French. It's a very beautiful language. Mainly for anybody who's thinking about taking French, just don't get too much in your head about like pronunciation and everything. Just do it. Congratulations on being the first Queen Anne's County High School student to learn French. My name is Kaylee Ortiz. I'm a senior at Queen Anne's County High School and I earned my Spanish seal of literacy last spring semester. I got the news from Mr. Stricker. I think we all got For your family, can you tell us uh, what, when you broke the news to your family that you uh, earned this? Right? I think you were pretty, you know, like not surprised. You were pretty happy. And I think like this now like gives them like a tight like a uh, grip hold that you know like I like, can speak both like fluently um, Spanish and English. Mr. Stricker, you want to hop in there with her? All right. So since you're also taking the French field by the way, how did you kind of compare your feelings going into the French test 
those things finish? Well, I was definitely more nervous for the French one, but um, I wasn't, you know, like too worked up about it because I know that like French and Spanish are very similar languages. But now, like, I actually managed to get through, you know, like the speaking portions, the writing portions, you know, we're going into it with someone somewhat confident. So you might earn two of those medals when I was seven done. <laughs> Congratulations. My name is Cecilia Schweitzer. I'm a senior at Queen Anne's County High School, and I received the seal of my literacy last year after taking AP Spanish. So what did the seal mean to you when you, when you got the news? With my career, I really want to be able to communicate with a lot of different people. So being able to say that I earned the seal of my literacy in Spanish means that I'll be able to communicate with a bunch of people, especially in our community, who's 30% native Spanish speaking. And uh, it just opens up a lot of doors and it's a milestone because I want to learn more languages and hopefully that this will help me learn others. So when you share the news with your family, how did, how did they react to you? Uh, my family, they were very excited. I feel like at one point they were probably shocked. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that, yeah. <laughs> uh, because it's hard. You have to do so much work. It's more of like putting it into use. And so they kind of were like, oh, I guess you did it. So with the photojournalism and being, uh, earning the seal of biodiversity, what would be the first country you would go to? Spain. Yes, yes, I've had that. <laughs> so, all of you earned the seal of literacy here at Queen Anne's County High School this year. It's been a couple of years since we've been able to do interviews like this with students. It's 2019 when we did the first interviews with our very first uh, medalist. You guys are going to be walking across the stage wearing your bling. How does it feel? And just share a little bit of background in your story in terms of how, how you feel that this is going to help you down the road. So, like I said earlier, I took Spanish like the most. And I remember watching the interview, like my teacher showed me. Oh, did you? Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> wow, I, I want that medal because it, it, it did look very big and everything it kind of made you stand out. But I do know that in college, I do want to minor in Spanish too, to continue my Spanish career. Um, I feel like for me, um, as, um, not only do you think something you can brag about, but I feel like it's, um, it shows that you really like dedicate yourself to the language and you know, you put all this time and effort into it. So it's like, it's, um, you know, like something that you like, the work is paid off. It certainly has. I can't wait till I, I get to video each of you coming off the stage wearing your medals. I know some of you are graduating this year, some of you it'll be next year, but it's an exciting moment. Once I found out it was an opportunity for me, I really worked to do it, and it actually helped me receive the seal of literacy and the seal of literacy. What kind of scholarship did you get? It was the um, presidential scholarship at the college, so it's a $20,000 scholarship. Um, so I also did not know that the seal of literacy was a thing until I think like the week before it happened and I got an email saying you should take this test <laughs> um, so I ended up taking it and it was really nice because I had always wanted to learn Spanish and then being able to say I have accomplished something I guess like she said so. yeah you're biliterate yes yeah. it's, it's it's out there it's gonna be on your high school finish um, so what else you want I took Spanish back in middle school, and that was when my teacher introduced to see us right, right there and then, and from there I was just interested. I thought the medal was really cool and amazing, and I just wanted to achieve it. So it just really shows the commitment I made to you know, achieving this medal, and what well, anyone can achieve if you just put their mind and look at it and do it. Absolutely. It's something nobody can ever, ever take away from you. You'll have, you'll have this hour for life. Huge thing, I think it's going to be a huge draw for your employers too. All of you, I look forward to 